First of all, I'd like to tell you a little bit about, that, about myself to make things clear. Since uh, I am from, uh, one of my ancestors has, is from the Eastern Orthodox Church, which extends to the Greek Orthodox Church, which is the original Christian church. I don't think I'm a cursed. My other ancestors, of course, believe in the five books of Moses, the Proverbs, the Psalms, the Prophets. And so I think I'm clean. <laughs> I think I'm okay. And uh, also I'd like to say that um, even uh, among people who form the cradle of Christianity, the Jewish people, um, they also um, believe in the Messiah. And I believe it's the same Messiah, the same Moshiach, as Jesus. I don't believe it is a different Messiah. There is only one. And he is either coming or coming back, but it's the same one. Uh, I, you may disagree, but that's for later. I have a personal question. Yes. Yeah. I'll say, yeah. My favorite um, Bible verse since I was a teenager is from the New Testament, 1 Corinthians 13. And um, it's particularly important to me now because there is someone who I would consider a very old friend and um, and he once recently not too long ago said that despite some things that he may have done to please try to love him and I'm finding that increasingly difficult and I would like to ask you about that. And so I want to read the, the 1 Corinthians 13. Um, and uh, 13, 13. And now abideth faith, hope, and charity, love. You know, charity is love. These three, but, of the greatest, but the greatest of these is love. Charity, love. Now... If I have lost faith in this person in being truthful and, and uh, good, and I've lost hope for their being able to ever do good works or ever have the spirit of God inside them, how can I try hard to love this person? It's a very personal thing to me. It goes back to when I was a child, a friend, an old friend. How can I try hard to love this person since the greatest of these three is love? I find it difficult because I find what he said he didn't do but that I know he did, and I lost faith, and I lost hope. How can I try hard to love when it says I should love? And I've always loved this verse, and I believe love can save the world. And I don't know anymore. And I'm a PhD, and I still don't know anymore. <laughs> and it hurts. May I now answer your question, ma'am? Yes, sir. Please uh, give her a seat because this will be a long discussion. I oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I went not, to school too long. <laughs> I do not. I do not. You see, I do not answer question with only one verse of the scripture. Please let me put it like this: the verse that you have read is one of my favorite verses also in the scriptures. Of course, a Christian cannot be a Christian without learning how to love. But the Bible speaks of another love, other than that love that you have had for that person or over that old friend. What is recorded in that, in that verse in the original Greek is agape, which is not a personal love or a personal affection for any person. Mm -hmm. That kind of love is the love that is among Christians. Mm -hmm. Remember that the Apostle Paul is speaking to the Christians at Corinth. 
He's speaking to a group, saying that now, now, why now? Because uh, there are three essences of salvation and faith, oh, in salvation, that is love, hope, and faith. These are three essences of salvation. For you to be saved, you must have faith, you must have hope, and you must have charity or love. Agape in, in, in Hebrew. Now, the kind of love that you now, according to your personal assessment, cannot uh, give to that person because you have lost hope and you have lost uh, your trust. Uh, the kind of love I think and I, I, I feel and I believe is another love other than that which is written in 13.13 of 1 Corinthians. Because you see in the scriptures, there are three kinds of love. One is agape, which is the greatest. Another is philia, which is a love for a relative or a friend. And another is eros, which is a romantic love between husbands and wives. Now, if you are... If you have philia in yourself, a love for a relative, it cannot be based on that particular verse because that verse speaks of agape, a holy kind of love that must be felt by a, a person towards another person obeying God's laws and words. It must be among Christians. Let me prove that. I will read. 13.1 of the book of 1 Corinthians and it says, If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am become sounding brass and a clanging cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Verse 3. And if I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and if I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profited me nothing. For love suffereth long, it is kind, love envieth not, love bounteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not its own. It's not provoked, taketh not account of evil, rejoiceth not in unrighteousness, but rejoiceth with the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall be done away. You see, the reason why the Apostle Paul said that the greatest of this is love, because prophecies will be done away, they will be fulfilled.